Hello. <laughs> hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are Sisters and Stitches. Welcome to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Cindy. I'm just confused because usually Debbie is like, and now she's like, <laughs> when you go, oh, like you're from <laughs> England. But Debbie's just like, yes, hello, we're just Sisters and Stitches. Where's the hello? I don't. Well, you started off with hello. Like, <laughs> where? Well, you sound like a parrot. Hello. 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 Anyway, this is Cindy uh -oh, Stitch boy. Fix that we're um, putting up for you today. Number 70 for me. 70th Stitch Fix. That's a lot of Stitch Fixes. That's a lot of Stitch Fixes. This one I was Sessions. not impressed with in the slightest. No. I felt like whoever threw this together, just, there was no thought process behind it. It was just a bunch of random items thrown in a box. And you'll see why I say that when yes. you see the, the, the yes. color scheme didn't go together. And Nothing. it was an expensive box. Well, part of it were, was these shoes. These are Franco Sarter shoes and they retail for $110. I love these shoes. They, she did get me an eight wide, but now that I know that they fit, I can go to Nordstrom Rack. I can go anywhere and get a lot of places. And I'm going to try and price match these. Because if I can find them somewhere else cheaper, then I'm going to get Stitch Fix to match the price on these shoes. Do they do that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but you have to find, and it can't be Amazon. It can't be like a, a place like that. So if I can find these in an 8 wide for cheaper, they will match the price and issue me a credit. So that's what I'm gonna do. If I can't, I'm gonna send them back and I'm gonna keep looking for these. Because I never knew, I, I, I bought like an off brand like two summers ago and this thing keeps falling out and it, it, they just, the, this was all icky after like one summer use of them. So I really, I'm a big fan of Franco Sardo shoes anyway. So hopefully I can find, this was the light of the box. So if this was the light of the box, you can only imagine what the rest of my box was. Yeah. So now remember I asked for a spring transitional box as I'm sure everybody is asking for that. And they sent me a, this is a from Rose Skies Are Blue. Blue. For fall. It's a Skies Are Blue knit blouse. Now, you're it's looking at me right now. It's a dollars blouse. You better like it. And it's it was full of static. And you're seeing a little dark spot mm -hmm. on it. That was just water that I bumped up to on the counter or something. But it was full of static. But you can roll these sleeves up or down. Which is their typical shirt. Yeah. I swear they I, send tunics. They think because you're over 40 that all you wear are tunics. Well, what I don't like about it, one is the color. It's not, for me, it's not, a it's not appropriate for me to wear in spring and summer. It's too heavy in summer because it's a heavier knit. But if I'm gonna get a blouse like this, it has to have a collar because I really don't like this area of my body. That's my issue. And so when I wear a sweater and a blouse, I like, the, I like to have a collar on my blouse. I really don't like to wear sweaters with like a crew neck kind of blouse. So, and like Debbie said, for the price, you know, maybe in fall, I would have considered something of this color anyway, because I do have a lot of this color, but not in March when you're going into spring. And here is, now this was a nice comfy sweatshirt actually from Market and Spruce. I like Market and Spruce. Yeah, and this is their- This is only $42, so it's not a bad price. No, point. and it's a hooded, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. And I would say this Very is a spring soft. sweatshirt. It oh is a yeah. Sweatshirt. And I seriously am thinking about um, considering this because it's great for, you know, going out to sit on the patio in the evenings or whatever. Well, when it's no, a little for this cooler. Thir this Thursday is St. Patty's Day. Yeah, I can throw that on if we're going out for green beer. So I like it. I am considering this. What do you guys, how do you think it looks on me? I know I never like anything that wraps around my butt, but I don't know. I think it's so soft and lightweight. So I really am considering this. So I'd really, really like your opinion 
on how this looks on me because how you guys are viewing it on me is not when I look down and look at it or look at myself in the mirror. So what did you think? I thought it was okay. I mean, I think it didn't fit as good as some of your other sweatshirts, but I mean, if you like it, you'll make it work. Yeah, so that's a possibility. And then what is not a possibility is this is from Market and Spruce. I'm always looking for the perfect white button down well, shirt. That's more of a creamy I'm still white, looking a for white. a white fitted button down. The closest I came was Calvin Klein. I do have a few Calvin Kleins, but but this is one of those this is a knit. This is knit, so it's going to cling to her, which it does. Look at how much it small, stretches. Mm -mm. And I, I just I'm not a big fan. That shirt is um, forty four dollars, so it's not the price point. I like the buttons. If it would have been more of a cotton shirt, but like it's like a, a, a yellowy white. It's yeah, not a it's true a cream. White. It's like ivory. Yeah, I don't I don't care for it at all. And it does have a collar, but it just it like with my belly that sticks out. It's like yeah, I just yeah. it doesn't fit your your figure the right way. No, so that's going back. And then they sent me a pair of cut from the cloth high rise ankle skinnies. And I really and don't even mind $89. Yeah, so. I don't really even mind skinny jeans in the summer because you can put some flats on and they look cute. Yeah, with it. yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are a raw hem. And the color is so great, but it they're a is. little tight on you and they show too much of your And they're a lighter weight, so it's a great pant for the spring or the summer. But because it's a lighter weight. Again, then my cellulite shows through and I won't pull from it. And then I'll have to wear like the long spanks underneath. And then you're dying and you're sweating. And then when you have to go to the bathroom, you got all these multiple layers to pull up. And when you're sweating, you got to pull your underwear up. And then you're pulling up the spanks. And <laughs> See, look at I'm exhausted and I haven't even put them on yet. So anyway, yeah, I, I think, love I mean, the you color. You could have sized up in, in it and they needed a little bit more room, but even, then even a, if you I size still, up in skinny jeans, then you've got all that gathering on your... But because the material is so thin, it's still going to show yeah, my yeah, cellulite. Yeah, that's true. So, but, but look at the box. Okay, other than the shoes. So they give me these like magenta pants with an orange top with a cream top and a green sweatshirt. Like how can I wear any of this? Together, yeah. Well, the cream shirt you probably could. Well, but yes, but it's not really part of an outfit. No. And, you know, the whole idea of getting, when I started this, is I need help in putting outfits together. She you actually know? doesn't anymore. But in the beginning, that's why I did it. I needed the help putting stuff together. And in my first, back when we started this in 2018, the boxes we would get, the whole box coordinated. Yeah. Like everything matched each other. So you could crisscross and, and make several outfits out of one box. Now, since yeah. the pandemic, it seems like, and and I know I know stuff is hard to get for all companies now, but it just seems so random now from Stitch Fix. I didn't even preview my Stitch Fix with you guys this time because it came in between us filming, mm -hmm. and it was the most expensive box I've ever gotten from Stitch Fix. It was well over four hundred dollars. I mean, well after over. the discount. Uh, no, after the discount, it was like three hundred and fifty six dollars after the discount. So I was, I just packaged it all up and sent it back. I, they sent me a rust colored, like suede, like coat for spring. I mean, they sent me jeans that were ridiculously expensive. I just thought, you know what? I'm, I, they're just randomly pulling stuff to get rid of it off their shelves. I'm well, not, I I'm think this interested. is the time of year that's really hard for clothing box companies and for us who receive them because it's almost like they want to give you the new stuff, but they're trying to get rid of the overstock and it's like, just have a big overstock sale. Just have a, you know, a clearance sale or something. People will buy the stuff, but to randomly throw these kind of colors and all the different, you got the heavier weight knit with the lighter weight jeans and so it didn't make any. It didn't make any sense. So, so I am going to check out the shoes, see if I can get them cheaper, but no, I'm not keeping them for $110. I just wouldn't wear them enough to make it worth it. What was that one stylist it? that we both loved at Stitch Fix, Naomi? Uh, no, it was... Mm. Yeah, when she left there, she's like, she sent us a note like, no, what I was her name? Like my, my Naomi or Miomi or... Oh, no, I don't remember. But she even said, oh, I'm really sorry. This is my last stitch and... 
good luck with what our inventory is. You know, it was like, it was her last time. She didn't care. She told the truth. So I'm not happy with what Stitch Fix did here and just randomly throw pieces. So that's pieces. all going back. Unfortunately, Cindy and I don't have to pay. We pay a $49 styling fee at the beginning of the year. So for us to get these boxes, it's no skin off our nose. It's just time and effort and shipping from Stitch Fix. It's silly. Right. You know, put stuff in there that matches and looks good and women will buy it. If they put it on and they can they can make it an outfit or two out of the box. Yeah. It, that's in the box. They I don't think have to so. pull from their wardrobe to complete the outfit. Yeah. Women would be more apt to buy that and get the price points back down. I, I know that for me, I said, I don't want boxes over $200. And they send me one that's almost twice the price. I'm I like, know the what? price of everything is going up. But come on, when you're paying $5 for a gallon of gas and you have a fixed income or you've got a bunch of kids and you only have so much for your clothing budget it's like you got to kind of bring in my opinion you can't go and spend two hundred dollars on a pair of jeans you know it, it's so for me it, if i was a marketing person for stitch fix i would i would be going like this Times are tough right now. Inflation's high. We know everyone's getting hit in the pocketbook. Food's higher. Gas is higher. Everything you're doing right now is higher. So for the next three, four fixes, we're going to give you an extra discount or we're going to only put in clothing that doesn't go past your, you know, your suggested yeah. limit on your boxes. And you think of some things where women think you're actually feeling their yeah. pain and you're going to work with them. Instead, they send me a box on, that you, I wouldn't even paying, buy in good times. You're paying retail prices for these clothes, which you would never do when you walk into no, a store. You, go you right always to the go to the sale rack, rack or the Unless it's, rack. you're going on vacation and you absolutely right. need a specific Or a wedding piece. dress or yeah. something like that. So I agree. I think Stitch Fix or the clothing companies might. All the clothing might, box companies should be like, you know, hey, you know, we get that this is costing more. Sorry about our inventory is kind of low, but we're going to slash prices or something to make us want to get those boxes. Because yeah, exactly. right now, I just told Cindy, I'm kind of bumming on Stitch Fix. I just am. And I've been a really, I generally buy my whole box. So I, I'm really, but I'm really bumming. So. All right, well, let me know your thoughts on the process and, you know, what do you think that the clothing boxes can do to help out these times of inflation when people are going to stop buying excess clothes and... I just think it would benefit them more instead of paying the shipping to get boxes here that are just going to be sent back a day later. Put, put stuff in there that women actually want to buy. Yeah, and, and give a, you know, give a discount off of it. Like normally $110, but we'll give it to you for 90 and then still give you... An extra discount off of that if you keep it just something so that something. you feel like they're and it trying doesn't have to help to be you permanent. out. All am right. I right or am I right, ladies? Yeah, share your opinions. <laughs> Love to hear from you. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye. Bye.